Late in the evening, a verdict which will surprise many Italians. No cameras were allowed inside, but there were gasps of astonishment in the court. Both Amanda Knox and Raffaele Solecito acquitted of murder. There will be no further legal proceedings against them. It was a sudden end to an extraordinary saga. The media fascination with this trial has lasted for more than seven years. Both Amanda Knox and her former boyfriend, Raffaele Solecito, have protested their innocence throughout. There's been sustained criticism of the way the investigation has been handled. But the real victim of this crime should not be forgotten. Meredith Kircher was only 21 years old when she was brutally murdered, a British student studying abroad in Italy. It was in November 2007 that Meredith Kircher's body was found in the house she shared with Amanda Knox in Perugia. She'd been sexually assaulted and her throat had been cut. Two years later, Knox and Raffaele Solecito were found guilty of murder. Long prison sentences were imposed. An appeal was launched and in 2011 both of the accused were acquitted and freed. But last year they were found guilty again after the case was heard for a second time, but neither of them is currently in jail. Amanda Knox has been in her hometown Seattle since her initial acquittal four years ago. She's written a memoir about her experience in court and is now working as a freelance journalist. Now the court has ruled that Amanda Knox should be sentenced to three years for slander, committed during her trial, but she's already served more time than that. Her Italian legal ordeal is over. Another man, Rudy Guede, is already serving 16 years in prison for the murder of Meredith Kircher. But every time this case has come to court, prosecutors have always insisted that more than one person was involved in the crime. So the verdict here leaves many questions unanswered and it prolongs the pain for Meredith's family. They still don't know what really happened. The family have always said that Meredith was the real victim of the crime in Perugia and that should not be forgotten. None of the drama seen in Italy's highest court can do anything to change that. Chris Morris, BBC News, Rome.